Unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies, it remains but a grain of wheat. The words of Jesus from the gospel today, anytime I hear them throughout the year, always point me forward in time to Good Friday, that day when we venerate the cross of Christ. The first hymn that we sing that day as we venerate the cross is put to music with those words. And I'm always stirred by that hymn and the others that we sing as we venerate the cross of the Lord. Behold, behold, the wood of the cross on which is hung our salvation. O come, let us adore. Unless a grain of wheat shall fall upon the earth and die, it shall remain but a single grain and not give life. Join me. Behold, behold, the wood of the cross on which is hung our salvation. O come, let us adore. A simple grain of wheat if it falls to the earth and dies, it produces incredible fruit. And that fruit has touched our world. And that's why we are here today. The cross of the Lord is inescapable. Some four weeks ago or so, uh, Deacon Mike took ashes, and I felt his thumb mark my forehead with that sign of the cross. And all of you who entered this morning during, through our narthex have seen throughout the journey of Lent that great wooden cross now clothed in purple. On Good Friday, a week from Friday, that will be brought forward right here in front of the altar, and everyone will be invited to the cross of the Lord. When I am lifted up, I will draw all things to myself. So what's holding us back today? What keeps us from going to the Lord at that moment of his self-giving love? Is it our fear? Is it our self-centered complacencies? Is it our shame or pride? Is it our guilt or sins or failings? Whatever holds us back, the Lord is inviting you and me to come to him at the altar of the Lord, to touch his body and blood, to venerate his cross. You and I are drawn to the mystery of love revealed on Calvary. One tiny little grain, what can it do? Now, if any of you all thought today that I was not going to mention that it was St. Patrick's Day, with a church full of green, right, how could I miss it? And if any of you thought that I forgot to put green on, you have not yet seen my socks, right? <laughs> they are St. Patrick's socks, so. St. Patrick himself, I don't know if, if you know the backstory. He was a teenager in England, kidnapped, taken to Ireland as a slave against his will, and lived in terror in the night. And one night, miraculously, God led him away from that place of slavery to a ship, and he sailed back to England 
But eventually, the heart of God so moved him that he became not only a priest, but eventually a bishop and a missionary back to the very place that had enslaved him, to the Irish. And Patrick, like a grain of wheat in that Irish soil, has produced so much fruit. What's holding us back today? A single grain of wheat, our very lives given to Christ, bring much fruit.